Let's talk about microphone technique for voiceover. Okay, that's completely wrong. First of all, that's a dynamic mic, and you want a condenser mic. Yeah, but that's another video. And secondly, Grandmaster W is holding the mic way too close to his mouth. Great for beatbox, uh, but not for voiceover. So what is the best mic technique for voiceover? Here's a few suggestions that will improve your VO sound. First of all, check your microphone. Is it a side address microphone or an end address microphone? This mic I'm using is an ADK and it's a side address microphone. So is a Neumann U87. A Sennheiser 416 is an end address microphone. If you talk in the end of a side address mic, the sound will be distorted. And if you talk in the side of an end address mic, you'll lose all the high frequency. And here's a graphic from the Blue Microphone Company, where they remind you that the Yeti mic is a side address mic, not an end address mic. Most microphones for voiceover are cardioid microphones. A cardioid microphone is unidirectional. That's a fancy word that means it only picks up sound from the front of the microphone and rejects sound from the back. That's good, because you want to hear your voice in the recording and nothing else. If your microphone has several settings, choose the cardioid setting. Unidirectional microphones have what we call an axis. That means you want to be directly in front of the microphone when you talk. Think of the microphone like a flashlight. <laughs> that's shining in your face. You want to stay where the light is. Or for you millennials, you can think of it like a laser. So don't move from side to side or the sound will drop off. And don't move forward and backwards or it will get louder and softer and the tone will change. Now, that doesn't mean you have to stand at attention. You can still gesture and move your body. Just keep your head still, kind of like golf. So what's the correct distance to be from the microphone? A good starting point is the famous Hawaiian hang loose sign. This distance is good for normal speech. But since all our hands are different sizes, a good distance is 6 to 12 inches or 15 to 30 centimeters for the rest of the world, except the countries of Burma and Liberia. But what if the performance requires you to be really quiet or really loud? Well, you can vary the distance from the mic to compensate for this. Each time you double the distance, you reduce the volume by six decibels. So here's some possible distances to try. Two inches or five centimeters if you're just whispering, four inches or 10 centimeters for quiet speech, eight inches or 20 centimeters for normal supported voice, and 16 inches or 40 centimeters if you're screaming and talking loudly. All directional microphones also have a proximity effect. That means as you get closer and closer to the microphone, the sound picks up more and more of the bass in your voice. And if you get too close, it gets kind of muddy. Also, if you get too far from the mic, you're gonna pick up room ambience in the recording. You also need a pop filter. When we say P's in English, we say it with a puff of wind. And when that hits the mic, it makes a kathump sound that you don't want in your recording. Now, some people recommend talking slightly to the side of the mic to reduce these plosives. I don't recommend that because I believe you lose some high frequency if you do that. High frequencies are very directional and they are important to assure your speech is intelligible and natural sounding. If you go to a professional recording studio, remember, don't touch the microphone. It's not that you'll get electrocuted. It's just that the engineer sets the mic for the best recording. And if you move it, you'll alter the sound and you'll probably alter the mood of the engineer. You want to keep everyone happy so you get employed again. Finally, always remember that your voice performance is the most important aspect of recording. 
Don't alter your performance to meet your recording requirements. Instead, adjust your recording techniques to match your performance. If you're whispering, turn up the mic gain to get the correct recording level. And if you're screaming, back off from the mic a bit and turn the gain down. Okay, so let's review. First, remember to talk into the correct part of your microphone. Don't get too close or too far. Remember 6 to 12 inches. A bit closer for soft recordings and a bit farther for loud recordings. Stay in front of the mic. Don't get off axis or turn your head. Use a pop filter to avoid the plosive P sounds. Don't touch the mic in a recording studio unless you have permission. And decide exactly how you want to perform a read and do it that way. Adjust your recording to capture the performance. Don't adjust your performance to get the required recording levels. For further information on all things voiceover, go to alisocreek.net. If this video was useful, please share it and click like. And hit that notification bell for updates. And click here to subscribe. I'm William Williams. Thanks for watching. And remember, keep talking.